Hello dear girls. It's time for another English class. Well, we have been revising the answers of the lessons in the last couple of videos that you have seen. That is the lesson the ugly duckling and also the laughing king. In today's class, we will be revising the answers of the dreadful guest. Okay, so the same way how we have done revision of the other two lessons. Today again, you will be repeating the answers after me. So pay careful attention and also read as the answers are being shown. Alright. So we begin with the first question which is meanings. Spoil sport. A person who spoils others' enjoyment. Impolite. Not having good manners. Platter. A large flat serving dish claw a horny nail on an animal's or bird's foot the next question is answer the following and in that, the first one is, where did the story, the dreadful guest, take place? Answer, the story, the dreadful guest, took place. In Russia. The second question. Who burst into the banquet hall? I hope you are repeating after me girls. Answer. A horrible looking dragon. burst into the banquet hall. Question 3. Who was not afraid of dragons? Answer. The brave warrior Ivan was not afraid of dragons. The next is complete the following. Ivan knew that dragons were dreadful but not intelligent. Ivan killed the dragon by cutting off the dragon's head with his sword. Next, reference to context. What a rude, impolite creature you are. Answer, 
Ivan said these words to the dragon in the lesson the dreadful guest next shall i burn you to death answer the dragon said these words to ivan in the lesson the dreadful guest then we have frame sentences rich my uncle is very rich sword he killed the enemy with a sword all right so those were the answers of this lesson that is the dreadful guest okay so please study your answers well girls you have these three lessons in the pro section of english that is the ugly duckling the laughing king and the dreadful guest so please revise your answers revise your spellings okay and prepare well for your exams so that was our english class for today have a nice day and take care of your health goodbye